Biodiversity is seriously threatened in Latin America. The main problems of the Chilean forest are the habitat loss, the fragmentation and degradation of native forests. Sadly, we have many endangered animals in Chile. Life Andes is a software that we have been creating for the last two years to understand where these wild species are and trying to share that information with the scientific community park rangers and people at large. Live Andes fits into this new paradigm of science, you know, what's called e-science, where you have huge amounts of data. Software tools like Live Andes provide good help to these scientists to deal with this deluge of data coming from different sources, satellites, sensors, and other devices. One of the things that we are doing is trying to solve the conflicts between people and wildlife. One of the main issues that we are working is how to transfer research into innovative ideas. What we do is track animals in the wild, trying to understand where they live, how they live, and what are the main threats to them. You can learn about how to take care of the climate, of the nature, of the animals. In many cases, when people go to the wild, they can encounter an endangered animal by chance. Then you can use your Windows phone, take a picture of them, and then locate that information and upload that information in Life Andes. The computer science students are doing the programming of the mobile smartphones, doing the programming of the databases and the human interfaces. The students from the environmental science would be doing the collection of data and processing that data. The possibility of using Surface as a way to collect the data from camera traps or to upload data from the field into main computers is a unique opportunity. So far, they have recorded 820 species from the different categories that live on these records, such as mammals, amphibians, reptiles, birds. Knowing the species, we can start to work in the strategies and conservation strategies to bring back those populations to save population. Surface allows us to visualize the data in real time in the, in the wild and then take decisions for conservation or for our research. Live Andes provides a platform to acquire this information, to record this information, to visualize this information. Life Andes puts together a lot of Microsoft technologies to create this platform and allows people to share, upload, and visualize data from wildlife. For example, Windows Mobile Technologies, SQL Server, Bing Maps is the way that we use and locate animals and visualize the animals, .NET for programming, through this Live Andes project and through the technology involved, we can learn much more about how to implement technology in favor of uh, biodiversity, in favor of uh, teaching education. Well, the collaboration with Jaime and Microsoft Research has been very interesting because we share the passion to develop new things. I am very inspired by this project because we are tackling a very challenging environmental problem which is the rapid decline of important elements of our natural heritage. I think Life Andes is a step forward involving citizen science into wildlife conservation and allowing people to share and enjoy wildlife. The final aim of Life Andes is to connect people with wildlife. Our hope with Life Andes is that we can use that tool to preserve the, the wildlife to the future generations. Each animal species is a very important piece of the puzzle, as each citizen scientist and a researcher are crucial to the success of preserving indigenous species for the next generation. <laughs>